At the Chateau of Chantilly outside Paris, when Mathieu Delgic heads down to the basement library where tens of thousands of drawings, books, paintings, and other works of art are stored, something is missing. The design by Renaissance master Raphael is still there, but several months ago, Delgic purposely sent away what is potentially one of the rarest items in the collection, a charcoal drawing that has been called the nude Mona Lisa, a sketch that very much resembles, in pose and in form, Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting of the wife of a Florentine cloth merchant. The posture, the composition is the same. The position of the arms is very close to uh, the position, the posture of Mona Lisa. It was a wealthy French nobleman, Henri d'Orléans, the Duc d'Aumel, who acquired the sketch along with the Chateau's huge Renaissance collection. Practically ever since, there's always been the suspicion that the drawing was either a da Vinci original or perhaps done by one of his handful of students. So with the 500th anniversary of the death of Leonardo coming up in 2019, Del Dique decided to send the drawing to another chateau, the Louvre, or more accurately, the National Research and Restoration Laboratory in the basement of the famous museum. Like da Vinci was so, uh, Here, curator Bruno Motin began studying the fragile 500-year-old drawing to try to discover its origins. After infrared, ultraviolet, and a host of other analytical techniques, Motin determined from the paper and other indicators that the sketch is indeed from da Vinci's era and region of Italy. But what intrigued him most were the thousands of tiny holes in the drawing, evidence of a Renaissance technique called prickling, which was used to copy a drawing to a painting. When the curator laid out the holes on his computer, they came close to exactly matching two other paintings, one in Russia and one in a private collection, which are known to have at least come from da Vinci's workshop and perhaps were even done by da Vinci. A step further towards authenticating the nude Mona Lisa, but the mystery still remains. The main question still is, who did this drawing? Is it Leonardo himself? That's a question that we are not able to uh, answers neatly, but we may find elements which will help to the, the conclusion. Once the scientists are finished with the sketch, it'll be brought back here in preparation for the big exhibition around the anniversary of the death of da Vinci. And only then will they make known their full results of their studies about the possibility that it was drawn by the hand of the great artist himself. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Chantilly, France.